I think for me, there was no decision-making process the moment I read the article in the newspaper, the old-fashioned way, about the call for volunteers. Every cell in my body was like, yes, this is what I've been waiting for my whole life. So not to say I, I'm looking forward to leaving Earth behind. Of course, that will be difficult. But like I said, I think the unifying characteristic amongst the volunteers is that we see this as a continuation of what we're doing here on Earth. So as a theoretical physicist, as a researcher, the potential contribution that I can make to human knowledge from Mars far exceeds any contribution I could make here from Earth. It just takes that bit of a living it rough or whatever you want to call mm. it <laughs> to be able to, to pioneer that new knowledge creation that will happen from Mars. So for me, it's really about the excitement, about the curiosity. Of course, it's going to be tough, but I think those people who, you know, every bit of their the consciousness was like, this is for me. These are the people who will make it through the hard times because they really have a vision for themselves, for their society, and for the planet in terms of, you know, expanding what it is to be human further afield than just Earth. So the training that the Mars astronauts will go through is going to be um, incorporate the aspects that astronauts go through for missions to the space station, but plus all of other stuff. We'll be living there. So the training is, like, all-encompassing. I mean, we're going to have to grow our food there, so we have to understand how we're going to grow crops in a confined space indoors, possibly hydroponically. We're going to be doing um, our own medical treatments to a large extent. We will have communication with Earth, of course, but we'll be trained as paramedics and emergency surgeons. You know, everyone will have a different skills level. Uh, we'll be doing basic research for survival purposes mostly, so basic geology, basic physics and chemistry. We'll be analyzing samples and so on. Um, our, our machinery will, of course, do a lot of the, the tough jobs of you know, ma maintaining the pressure within the habitat, maintaining the oxygen levels to a breathable level, maintaining the temperature. But if anything goes wrong, of course, we're going to have to fix it. There's no one to call. You can call to get information, but no one's yeah. going to come, <laughs> not in any short time frame anyway. So 3D printing will be a huge aspect of it, so operating these 3D printers, programming them to print components and electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, aeronautical engineering um, will become multi faceted like uh, space MacGyvers basically <laughs> space MacGyvers I like that <laughs> cool